Hi, this is Carlos Navarro. I'm an artist here in Miami, Florida. In this clip, I'm going to show you how to paint undertones on a canvas. What I like to do is, in my, my white canvas, I don't like white because white as an undertone doesn't really allow for richness. So what I do is I get a, um, a striation motion from upper left to lower right, and very much like Rubens used to do, and paint this a, a, a warm color. It could be a brown. I use burnt umber for this. I've already got an undertone. So let's suppose I want to do a column. And I want to do a classic column. Now, I would have probably done the drawing before, but I decided that I was going to do the drawing directly onto the canvas. So I've got a column. And the color on the, on the bottom of this column already has been made for me. And what I've done is, literally, use the color in the behind to create an effect that the column already has some depth and some form. And you can use um, this for just about anything. You can do it for people and so on. I'm going to just continue with this column all the way down to give you an idea of how it works. You can actually do uh, reliefs. I love reliefs, the bass reliefs that, I, that you see on many different columns. You see that here. You can actually do something like this. You can actually place little putti in there, little uh, cherubs. And then all of a sudden, using a little bit of the darker tones, you can create the three-dimensional effects that you see in most of what are the modellos of, uh, of most of the great artists. And there you go, just using an underpaint to create some depth in a painting. This is Carlos Navarro. Thanks for watching.